Welcome. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you know when after this and then we try to go to sleep and it's 3,000 degrees and I hate my life? No. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what At least you have the fan. <laughs> that kind of helps, right? I have the window. Oh, I thought you were pointing at my laptop for a second. The fan. <laughs> <laughs> the fan. No, the it fan. It blows 200 degree air on my Dude, legs. <laughs> I love it because it's been windy, so I open the window, but then it smashes my door against its own frame. And every now and then it's just... <laughs> Oh, I'm like, weird. oh, fuck. <laughs> mine, mine would only do that if it's not fully sealed. His is, I don't think it's... Bro, the window isn't even sealed. There's this giant gap <laughs> <laughs> between the window and the actual cement, like... Have you tried glue? Frame. I haven't. Yeah, just, just, cock <laughs> just cock it. Just cock it, dude. Yeah. Seal it up. Would you look at it, you're like, what the Yeah, I was like, why is there a brick? So I close the window, I'm like, I still feel the wind. And then I look close, like, there's a giant gap between the window and the actual wall. That's funny. Anyway. Well, welcome to Toddy Rap, that one time I reincarnated as a podcaster. Today, we're going to spirit you away to um, Studio Ghibli and, uh, you know, other things. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I wrote that down 20 years ago. My name is wow. Forrest. I'm the Ed Boy. I'm Bob. And, you know, today, obviously, we'll talk about Ghibli and Ghibli. If you were to reincarnate as a Ghibli character, what would it be? That that little egg guy that uh, walked into the wall. Oh, no. In that movie In that we movie. just watched. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Let's see. Who would you want to be? They all seem shitty. <laughs> and all the main characters are normally girls. Lies. They actually kind of are thinking about it. Don't you want to be a girl in another world? Uh, not really. <laughs> What if it's a magical girl? Okay. Kiki, I, Kiki has magic. You're she on does. Something. I know who I want to be now. Now going going through this list over here. Uh-huh. Who, Ponyo? Want, no, no. I want to be Porco Rosso. Yeah. The flying pig dude. Oh, I clicked on one of them. What are we watching? Nausicaa. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, now we're we'll just talk about random shit, I guess. Because, you know, there's two of us that's seen almost all the movies. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> and how many movies have you seen now? Okay, the two we watched today. Okay. And I watched three. So that's a five. Five, six. I've seen six of them. Seen, seen six, six movies? Six movies. I'm missing six. <laughs> what? Yeah. Out of the... Same. I'm about in that same spot. Yeah. But it's not the six I've watched. <laughs> no, obviously not. We've seen those. We told yeah. you to watch them. No, Ford never texted me. Oh, well, I forgot. And then you told <laughs> me about it. And then... He told me the next day, he's like, yeah, so he's watching these ones. I'm like, oh, well, I can just watch whatever, I guess. He's seen all the good ones. But, you know, let's start off with probably some of the be better ones or, in, of his list. I think we start with uh, Earwig. Oh, okay, never mind. We're, so, we're starting there first. So, okay. That yeah. is the best movie I've ever seen. Since, since we just finished it, like, that's better, five seconds that's ago. That's better than Jiu-Jitsu? Jiu of course yeah, it's better it's than Jiu-Jitsu. No jiu -jitsu. one has me on this background. You're welcome, guys. Oh, and there's music to the background. <laughs> Let me just mute that. There we go. There we go. It's, it's we it. go. It's <laughs> just a uh, five second cut. Five second cut. <laughs> no, it's staying in. <laughs> We're gonna get the ding. <laughs> like, oh, now and then. Ah. We're gonna have some nice music in the thing. No, no, no music that for is, you that, guys. That is not the case. Not the case. Just the our lovely sultry voices oh, that I do not have. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, so we all watched your wig less than like ten seconds ago. Literally. Yeah, we like just finished it. I want to hear. I want to hear everyone's thoughts on this wonderful movie. I mean, okay. Okay. So, you so, what do you okay. want to hear first, though? Okay, by by what standard are we looking at this? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was this it is, the, uh, the only watch standard? It again? The only standard we all go by, how we feel. Because I don't care if it's produced good. No, 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 no. None no, no, of no. us care. No, about no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't care that's about not, the director. No, no, <laughs> that's not the standard. I'm more, like, it's like, because so it's, it's a kid's movie. Five right? is average and ten is God tier. One, you might as well shoot Beca it. Because it's not, it's, not, it's not catered to me, yeah. right? But I enjoy kids' movies. I watch, these are all kids' yeah. movies, technically. I mean, some of them I don't know, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are PG to PG-13. <laughs> There's no R-rated. Bugs Life has some pretty hard... <laughs> I mean, sure. And that's a kid's or movie. Ants, have you ever seen Ants? Yeah. Yeah, that's worse. That uh. <laughs> but, well, I guess we should talk about the movie real quick before we do, like, ratings and what we thought about it. So just 
basically a movie about a girl who an orphan an or well yeah an Whoa. orphan girl orphan orphan who gets sent to an orphanage and she just like she read too many um, like detective novels mm-hmm. and swindling novels because she is just the worst girl <laughs> on the planet. She has very bad habits. Yep. Very bad personality. Mm-hmm. Very toxic. Yeah, very, toxic. Very, very toxic personality. For being, I don't know, how old is she? Eight? Probably. I don't know, probably, if that. A lot of trauma. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes through that. She gets adopted by this lovely couple who, one, like, beats her, does magic. Dress, dress her with worms. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And, then, uh, and then you get the other guy who's uh, just pissed off all the time. But he is best boy if we don't count the cat cat's best boy the cat's best boy but yeah then it's you know just a lovely her trying to learn magic and deceive everyone and no, she this becomes was, heartwarming this I was guess. a movie about a toxic <laughs> child that was hired or <laughs> adopted <laughs> to be a child slave, <laughs> be a child slave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I and the toxic that. child turned it around <laughs> true true but you know at the end I guess the ending was nice, like where she got. Uh, they all started to get along and stuff. The, the credits. Well, uh, I'd say just before <laughs> yeah. the credits. Into Would the you credits. count the credits? That's part of it's it. It's part of it. Okay, okay. Because most some of his movies have like the ending, ba- more story. So you're story, saying it's story? a it's a Miyazaki Miyazaki. Hi Miyazaki. Yeah, Miyazaki. It's, it it's his movie. Is that true, Eddie? It says it was. <laughs> uh, what was that? <laughs> Planned. Planned. <laughs> what Planned. Does that even, what does that even mean? I don't know. She's like, I'm gonna come with the idea, guys, and then you just gotta make it. Well, it's not even a, it's it's an it's an adaptation. Oh. Like yeah. if you looked at the credits, that it comes from so and so book. It, it flashed too quick. I couldn't read it, but I did well, see I don't that. Even think I based I'm not on a lie. No, no it, it did say based on Earwig and the Witch by I don't. It was some British mo- uh, book. Yeah. No way. I couldn't. Think, yeah. <laughs> well, it's probably. I mean, obviously, some children's book, right? So I. Uh, might as well start going into the flaws. So my major flaw was they every time they bring out food, they call these French fries chips. Made no sense to me. Major hey, flaw. I did, at least I didn't Murica. hear any biscuits. <laughs> <Murica. laughs> but I will. <laughs> I will say the major issue is the damn lip flaps. The mouth movements. Oh, it's like is, uh, a horrible oh. Chinese movie back in like. It was, like, it, that was, back that. when you used to watch like old Jackie Chan movies, yeah, Bruce Lee and, movies, yeah. and you're like, burr, 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 burr. You're like, what? <laughs> that was so distracting. That was the pro- worst of it. Yeah. Well, it's one of those where if we didn't have the subtitles up, I don't know where I would have looked because every time they would start talking, my eyes were like, any other scene, just look at them. They're doing something. They'd start talking. Subtitles. Oh, oh. T- <laughs> I, I noticed that the adults lip sync was better than the kids. There's something about yeah. the main character. Maybe because her mouth opened bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was more expressive. Yeah. There's a lot of people that just had the normal, like, normal talk. Yeah, yeah. And then it wasn't too bad. But then there's the people that were, like, open mouth. And you're like, that bad. person just said, like, a full <laughs> sentence with just one open <laughs> mouth. <laughs> like, that is not the movements your mouth makes <laughs> while saying those words. <laughs> so we did watch in English because that's how you're supposed to technically watch these, as he says. It's true. The director. It's Hi, home. Miyazaki. You watch you still watch it in English? Yeah. That's what he said. He like tells you if you you're Japanese, it. you watch him in English? No, you no, watch no, no, in no, Japanese. You, ja- you watch well, it in your language yeah. so you can watch the animation. Because he wants you to focus on the animation. Yeah. Can't do both? I mean, I was doing both. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. There, there is also a limit to how much you see to lose. You know, It's like the same way where if you watch a certain scene and you look at the animation and they start talking. and you look sure down. you can watch it like multiple times. Oh, obviously. Like, oh, yeah, I watched it. Yeah, but every single day. I don't want to watch it more than zero times. I won't watch this one ever again. No. 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 <laughs> no. I mean, best movie. Best movie. 20, 20 out of... 20 out of 10. Yep, sure. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But I guess the other issue to me was the ending. Like What ending? Yeah, it was just like, oh, they're all family and friends now, or whatever you want to consider them. Bam, the mother's back. And credits. Roll, roll credits. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay, there's more stuff in the credits. Nothing with the mother. And you're just like, so is there number two? <laughs> number three? It was I hope chap- not. It was you chapter know, one. You know what it reminds me of? So uh, speaking, no, 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 oh. no. Speaking of uh, Ghibli-esque movies, okay. uh, the Mary and the Witch's Flower, how it just kind of ends. Yeah. And nothing really happens. 
Yeah, but that movie didn't really have much happen in general. Yeah, it was I know. just kind of like weird time trickery. Un- I don't understand what that movie was fully about now I think about it. See? See, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is, you know, she didn't want to be there. She was sick. She felt better. She met this past person who was dead, a ghost. Oh, and Marion. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. I don't remember that one. And I don't then, remember that movie. And really then well. I don't remember how it ends. I just yeah. remember she felt better. She went home. And then it just ended. I think she was going home. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. She was in the car going home. Because her asthma was better or something. Someone what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which movie are you talking about? Mary. And the, oh, not Mary. No, the, sorry. The other. Marie. Mary Ann. No, it was when Marnie was here. Is what yeah, you're whatever. Referring to. No, but I mean. Because. <laughs> that's because. One. because oh, no, Mary, no, that one. Okay, fuck see, that movie. See, see no, that, 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 that's what I'm referring to. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at. That one wasn't a Studio Ghibli movie. No, but it's made yeah. by. It's like a sister company or something like that that did it, right? Or something. I have no. Clue. I, that's what I thought because the animation style is meant it's to close, invoke yeah. that that look. But it's not on the Studio Ghibli thing. No, I know it's not because I know yeah. it's not physically theirs. I'm just saying yeah. it was like because yeah, I remember when it was marketed too. I think it was like like a from a Studio Ghibli producer. Yeah. I remember. Or something I remember like that. going to see that in theaters. So that movie is like Kiki's, where she has like magic powers. I guess I yeah. didn't like this, where mm-hmm. they have magic powers somewhat. But she didn't. She gets this weird flower. She gets really strong magic power for like twice. <laughs> and they're like, oh, she's our next magician. Yeah, and then yeah, she yeah. loses it, but everyone wants that flower that gave her power. Did Kiki have any more magic powers? I only saw her fly on her broom. That's all she really does. All, basically, all the magic you can see all the witches do in the movie is fly. <laughs> and talk to the cat. Talk to cats. Um, and they all do like potions. Yeah. She didn't do potions. No, no her mother bread. did. She she baked bread. <laughs> and what did the other witch do? I can't remember. She never says. The snobby witch. Yeah, she, she never went, says. And she flew away. I thought she said something. <laughs> I can't remember. It was something stupid, and he was like, "Oh, okay." She just basically lived in Las Vegas until I remember. Yeah, basically that's what it was. <laughs> What's the movie we watched? And there was this Nausicaa. girl. The and met this one? other girl, but this girl was in the past. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah, that's before. when Marnie was here. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's is that right also here. Ghibli? Yes. Yep, it's right uh, here on the on our list. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I don't know why it keeps registering me clicking these, which is tilting me. So I have seen Cause seven. Because you're, you're tapping. <laughs> I have seen seven Studio Ghibli Yeah, you've seen movies. seven Studio seven. Ghibli movies. <laughs> you're almost oh, there. But this, this, this movie going back, right? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like someone trying to write like a Roald Dahl book. And it not being quite there. It also reminded me of like a wannabe claymation movie. Oh, it with gave, the animation it gave me style. that vibe. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's that's yeah. I do. I, see I, that. I get that. Yeah, I get that. I don't know. It there's there wasn't like the story wasn't horrible. The animation wasn't garbage. I thought it'd be worse. It was okay. It was alright. I'm not, not not a huge fan of it, but no, it wasn't terrible. No. And so I do think it's CG that was pushing the claymation boundary. Yeah. Which you know surprisingly That's fine. good. Yeah, it's fine that way. I but it was preferred that way. I said for me, someone who hates CG, I can deal with it. Yeah. It was just I would argue the story was it was doable. the really thing, and she was just a bad kid in general. <laughs> she was a terrible character to watch. Um. Anyway, you know. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it had that Roald doll feel to it. Like, mm-hmm. that type of story. Yeah. yeah. You know, like BFG or The Witches. When we watched Witches that Power, forever yeah. ago. No, 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 Witches Power. But I mean, like, the movie. The Witches. Oh, The Witches. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, you know, like James and the Giant Peach or yeah. Willy Wonka. That's all Roald doll. Yeah. So, it has that kind of feel to it. But not. But not. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite there. But not dark. <laughs> <laughs> not, not dark <laughs> enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This movie was dark. Remember when she got wormed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Or he came out when he was pissed when he got warned because she got warned. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. That's the best way if to you haven't it. seen this movie, it was just so weird. It's, it's, it's just a weird. There, there, I will say there's three great characters in this movie. You have the cat and the little demons. The cat. You have the cat, uh-huh. the little demons, and Sundere fucking. Uh, the Sundere <laughs> demon guy. Demon guy. Dude, what I hated the most is that she has this relationship with what the fuck his name is? Um, Custard. Oh. And they're like best friends or whatever, blah, blah, blah. She gets adopted. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, trying to say goodbye. She's like, no, fuck you. I'm not going to say nothing. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, well, she just left everyone. Just yeah, like, fuck like, you. She, she didn't say goodbye to anybody. And then she's sort of like, oh, I miss Custer. I'm like, you bitch. Well, that's because <laughs> she's toxic. She misses yeah. people she could control. Yeah. Oh, you're right. 
But you you see at the end in credits, toxic. they're always hanging out together. Did he get adopted by them? No, they just no, live just, down the street. Yeah. Literally, oh, remember right. when they walked to yeah, their yeah, house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, legit. <laughs> so. Would not recommend this movie. Of course not. <laughs> four. I give it a four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> <laughs> I think four. Negative 25. So, so, he just, <laughs> so I think that average is out about a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Ayo. <laughs> no, I would give it, I would give it, I would, I would, I think a four is appropriate. Yeah, I think it's below average. I mean, I feel, I feel like if I was like, or like a really like a kid and I might be higher, but as it's, as I it's, don't even I think a kid would, I don't think they would relate. I don't I, know. I don't think it's about relatability. But like to a kid, I think if they can, can relate a little bit, they're like, oh yeah, I like yeah. this movie. Oh, I think I told this to Forrest, but you know, you know what this uh, movie reminded me of? Like watching a Coco Melon video. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this movie reminded me. Oh, so I feel God. like I feel like with a kid with a low enough attention span, mm. this is perfect. Yeah, all the ADD kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I say this age absolutely perfect. The movie this age range is between one to like six. You know, I really like the beginning. Where they were playing ghosts in the cemetery. Yeah. Oh, and they scare yeah. that poor old man. That guy had a like, heart. He died. That's funny. He died. <laughs> uh, there was funny moments. As I said, I did like the one demon with the, the eggshell on egg his head. He was pretty yeah. funny. The cat was funny all the way through. The cat was funny. And then the demon. Very unexpected. Yeah. Like, Once he talked, I was like. <laughs> spoiler alert, he talks. Yeah. Once ah, he yeah. talked, I was like. This is best the boy. music was pretty good. Not the soundtrack, but like the that band. One song, yeah, yeah. That one that, song that they constantly the one yeah, song, yeah. like It's pretty clean. catchy. I like the ending song, the, the credit song. No, that song was pretty like good that too. One. The beginning song wasn't good. It's an no. hour and a half, right? That's what we went through is what the length sure. of the movie was. Because I'm, tr- I'm trying to think of like other other like films kind of like that yeah. in that same time space. And differences, because I mean, obviously it's like a kids movie, so it has like no narrative structure, right? But, but I mean, I just, why are you trying to shit on the kids? No, no, entertainment? no, 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 because that's not always true, right? Yeah, yeah. Because because a, a movie that came to my head while watching this, right? Like, I mean, it's Treasure it, it, Planet. No, it's uh-huh. it's it's an unfair comparison in reality. But Coraline went through my head. <laughs> it's a very unfair comparison. Is it because of the cat? That yeah, it's the cat. <laughs> You but, know what movie came to my head? What? Um, the one with uh, Jack. It's uh, like uh, like the Halloween and the Christmas movie. Oh, oh uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. I, that one came to mind. Yeah. Well, I, I mean Coraline, just because, you know, main character's a girl and there's a talking cat, right? But that's also a movie that's in the same runtime. And yeah. it's very different as far as structurally oh, and everything it another does. Another movie that came to my happy... <laughs> 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 when you're happy, <laughs> it came to <laughs> it came to his happy well, dude. Cat, but, you know, that's what came to my head was uh, Kiki's because oh, it's cat? a girl and a cat. No, it didn't because I'm just going off a <laughs> shitty analogy. <laughs> no, but, that's, but, but but it's like animation styles, like that claymation ish kind of style, and there's like witches and all this weird thing, and it takes place well. Technically, Coraline's like in the Midwest, like, <laughs> but still, whatever. So. Let's get off this shitty movie. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I guess putting four out of ten. Four, yeah, we'll just leave four out of ten. Putting that aside then, right? Because mm-hmm. I mean, there's so many to talk about, right? So yeah. we'll go well, first. Oh, what were you going to say? No, you go ahead. I was going to say, of what you've seen, your favorite one. Well, my favorite? Your favorite Ghibli movie. I go first because I've seen the fewest. Yes, okay. sure. My favorite one so far is Princess Mononoke. Okay. okay. My, my have been... Um, there's some bias in here because I just watched it a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, isn't all of them a few days ago? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except for like three. <laughs> so is that just your favorite straight up? Yeah, okay. I think that one okay, that okay, one that okay, caught okay. more of my attention. Why? Why? I really like the characters. I like the story. It was actually structured. <laughs> Did you like the beeps and the boops? The beeps and the boops. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the art. There was some action there to keep my pretty little monkey brain entertained. Um, the Yakult guy was pretty funny. The Yakult oh, it, 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 it reminded me of a drink. <laughs> I and I laughed to myself every time I, I just say his name. Yakult. Yep. <laughs> also, I found out that when the show came, started and there was this dude, I'm like, this isn't a princess and this is not a girl. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then the actual Princess Mononoke came on. I guess this is... But she wasn't the main uh, character either. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? Why is this called this? This might be one of the first 
or a few films that he has where he the guy is the main character. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, there's also the other one you watched. Which one? The Tales of Earthsea. Oh, yeah. So you have Tales of Earthsea. You have um, the Castle in the Sky. Oh, yeah, Castle in the Sky. Uh, the Wind Rises. Oh, yeah. Porco Rosso. I guess there is a lot of guys that <laughs> go through it. Uh, Howl's No. No. He's a secondary main character. I know, but yeah, but I mean, I mean, like the, straight the up main, main like character. the main protagonist. Because if that. if I'm going through all these movies, I might bring this up in a second. You know, I'll bring it up in a second because I think it's a big talking point about uh, what most of the movies are structured off of. Nice. But uh, yeah, I'll sense. go with my favorite movie, which is either uh, Princess Mononoke. Mm-hmm. Like, if I'm really thinking about it, or Kiki's. But the key- reason I go for Kiki's is more nostalgia. It was the first yeah. movie. I remember I said I brought this up before. As a kid, uh, on Halloween, they would play this movie. Never knew the name of it. I just knew that they would play it. I'm like, I gotta watch this movie at this one time of the year. But if I'm really thinking about it, I think it's Princess Mononoke. It said the same. Okay. The art style. The story's great. And then there's a lot of fighting and... Great, it's awesome. great magical monsters. It reminded me of Naruto. Because you know that guy's curse at the beginning of the movie? Yeah. And, and he's like pretty OP. I'm like, this guy is Sasuke. <laughs> this, this guy <laughs> is Sasuke. Uh, but better. Not but better. better. But he ain't a bitch. Yep. I guess uh, we'll go with you on your... Uh, I mean, mine's Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah. That one's my absolute favorite. Uh, from aesthetic style, which is something that appeals to me greatly. Absolutely. Um, just to, like, the very, like, whimsical nature of it is something that I enjoy quite a bit. Uh, it's, it's, I, I I don't know how exactly to describe that in a sense. I don't know. Like, the way the magic and stuff is portrayed in it and everything, it's very different Mm -hmm. than when you're, like, you know, you normally see. And it's different, very different even from, like, the ones you guys mentioned. Like, I mean, from the spiritual kind of traditional fantasy of Princess Mononoke. Uh, in in that case, it's almost a it's like a weird mixture of like in between, kind of like where Kiki's is, and kind of where like where Nausicaa is. Yeah, it's kind of like in between that as mm-hmm. far as style is concerned. And I don't know. I, I I just like it. It's just it's just out there. The beeps and the boops are pretty. Yeah, the, beeps, the, beeps and, <laughs> and the movie gives me very. I don't know. It's not rapey vibes. What? There's Ooh. a lot of harassment in that movie. And it really turned me off <laughs> when I was watching it. I can well, kind of see that with the main character. Yes, they get harassed the whole movie by, uh, by adults. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, the main character is an adult, technically. I thought she was a child. No. no. She looks like a child. She's she looks like a child. Like, she looks like a she's child. She's like 20. She looks like she's 12, dude. Lies and oh. propaganda. <laughs> Well, in that scene, yes, but <laughs> not for sure. But no, she's probably between, I'd say, the ages of 17 yeah. to... She pro- she's probably still harassed. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's also that time period, you know. <laughs> it was okay. No. Where it was like, oh, yeah, who cares, I guess. But it does have that, it does kind of have, like, that weird fairy tale-ish vibe, but then at the same time, it's like, no, you know, there's war and it's people also are killing not, each other. In the... Not in the deep end of movies. No. Like, crazy because i'd say like the deep end you're pushing uh spirited away oh yeah yeah, yeah, because nausicaa i would say is also in that same realm where it's realistic Mm -hmm. and not uh too crazy and you obviously see it happen it's a little crazy yeah giant bugs well Well, yeah but it's about (laughs) uh the wars like the nukes and stuff and the terrain going all fucked up and that's basically what the whole movie was about oh i thought you said like the the world itself is realistic i'm like i don't don't know man it has like if we all got nuked constantly (laughs) by those laser monsters sure it probably is nausicaa has that kind of like uh sci-fi feel to it it's kind of where it's at yeah that's and i mean that's another one that i like a lot but it does it does have more of that sci-fi kind of feel to it uh, speaking of which, in that style, because they do sh- like Howls and Nausicaa share like a very similar style when it comes to things like you know like airships and technology and stuff like that. Um, Studio Ghibli did a music video. Oh, yep. And which is also in that style for a rock song. Well, it's like a J rock, old J rock song, but it does have like the same, like the style is very similar to what you see. In Nausicaa, the Valley of the Wind, or in Howl's Moving Castle, and stuff like that. 
has that same vibe, which is cool to me. It's, it's just cool when I found that music video. It was just like, oh hey, this is this is different. This is not you know Nausicaa normal. Was just like in my head, it was a long Daft Punk video. <laughs> the music, the music, the eighties music. Yeah, John, I really like the story of Nausicaa because it, uh-huh. it does go through like the world getting fucked. Everyone's still trying to fuck over the world instead of trying to fix it. Basically, like what we're doing now. It's like we'd rather kill everyone than try to fix the thing that we're having issues with. I, I feel like it like if you compared it to like modern things, it is like the closest that feels like a modern like sci fi anime or something like that. Yeah. It has that vibe. Yeah. To it. Can you um, explain to me this part of the movie? I don't know if I just didn't pay attention properly. You probably probably don't. You know that how there was this third party that got the little baby bug. Yeah. So yeah. they could destroy the valley. Because yeah. they fucking hated these people. They didn't no, hate no, the people they don't in hate the valley. The, they hate the other people. Oh, they wanted to fuck the two people yeah, by yeah. killing so these the, people. No, ah, no, so okay. the two people were fighting. Yeah. And the the that Valley of the Wind just got uh-huh. in the fucking way. They were just in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Mm. So the one clan was like, oh, we'll send these bugs to kill off all these assholes. And yeah, they were yeah, like, yeah. Oh, fuck these bugs. We got this laser machine that <laughs> well, shot two lasers it, and blew up. Technically, it was to take the laser machine again. Yeah. Yeah. Because the laser machine was with those people. Yeah. Mm. And then they got conquered by the people with the tanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they took the laser thing and were moving it away back to their place. And the ship couldn't carry it, so it landed in the wind area. Yes, yes, yes. So they got fucked. Yep, (laughs) yep. And so that's where they had the thing, because they're so close to the jungle, too, because that was the whole point. They want to go... Are they they still fighting, though? Why? No, at least after the move, after, you know, like... So, that, that, it didn't well, get resolved at the end, so I'm just like, so what the fuck happened? Well, know. the other people died. Yeah. Except for that one airship, so. So that whole clan's mm-hmm. gone, basically. And then the other clan, almost their whole military was killed. So Yeah, by fucking a random village. <laughs> and, <laughs> and bugs. Yeah, and bugs. bugs were best <laughs> but then, and, and then bugs. I think they also had the realization of, uh, like, what Nausicaa said. Yeah. is like, we keep fucking up this land if we just, you know, uh, treat the soil and help the water. We don't have to deal with these poor uh, pores and spores. Yep. She was the Lorax. Was yeah. The Lorax Basically, new martial she, arts. She, <laughs> <laughs> and she talked to bugs. Yep. <laughs> she was the Lorax. She yeah. was the Lorax. She spoke for the bugs. She spoke for the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I said I also like the movie. I, really I love I love Nausicaa. I really do. I like the music. Yeah. yeah. It was super good. Actually, that's that's one thing that I really like in speaking since we've gone through ours. It's like the music in Ghibli films. It's so good, some, like most of the time. Yeah, sometimes. I, 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 love it. I mean, I it has only, memorable I've only noticed moments. that one. <laughs> memorable so moments. I mean, I mean, obviously, there's like music from my Kiki's and Howls and yeah. Totoro's super. I feel like popular. there's good songs. Yeah. But sometimes it's either just to set the scene where it's like, oh, that's cute, or uh-huh. it's just like, eh. well, yeah. It's just like, here's a song. You're like, oh, that's cool. I don't know why it needs to be here, but. <laughs> oh, no, no. I get that for some of them. Uh, especially when you look at the fact that. The English dubs of it actually added music that the Japanese doesn't have in certain places. Yeah. But. That's just because, you know, we yeah. have ADD. Uh-huh. And uh, some of us. If, there, if there's, if there's silence, <laughs> people don't like the silence. Remember that one part where it was silent to show the princess go through the window and Bob wasn't paying attention? And he's like, well, I don't like that silent part. No, it wasn't that si- it's like It went to music to silence, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was I hard did, cut. I, No, no, I know. It was it a funny was hard cut. <laughs> and I didn't like it. it was, yeah, that was the was point, no though. Like, it was like, oh, uh, here's this crazy thing. Really important information. Crazy thing. <laughs> I feel like it's it, it's like the, it's the action movie silence. Like yeah. you know when there's the explosion, uh-huh. the music just stops. Yeah, and everything just goes silent. No, it goes the beep. After well, yeah. <laughs> there's yeah, silence and then there's the beep. It's the boom mm-hmm. silence ring. Yeah, <laughs> but it, I, it's I think it's a transition. I'm not used to just. It was a different hard cut than what I've experienced. Yeah. So well, it threw me off. I feel like you weren't paying attention. Yeah. I was paying attention. Where <laughs> 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 you're downloading Halo. <laughs> But other than that, I said most of the music's okay. Because even if you go through some of the older stuff, uh, I said uh, Porco Rosso. Eh. Yeah, no. I feel like there's <laughs> just, there's sta- there's just standouts. I feel like for the, a lot of the films. I feel like the issue is there's the movies that are good are just so good because they have everything. Yeah. And the movies that are bad are they're just, just bad. They're, they're just bad. bad. It's just like there's nothing that can fix even the new soundtrack. It's just one of those things. Like I watched only yesterday, which is to me an interesting. Uh, film, but I yeah. guess I'll bring up the point I was gonna bring up before. All the movies, 
I'll say 50% of the movies are pretty much structured around young girls, if you really think about it. It's young girls coming of an age to where they're learning about some either power or some, I don't know, love. There's a lot of love in some of the ones that you haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> and it, most of them are just in that structure where it's just them growing up and then dealing with what they've have become or what they've yeah. gotten. They're coming of age stories. Because only history is interesting. So you follow the main character, which is older. She's probably, I think she's like 28 or like somewhere. Mm. She's too old, <laughs> like in the marriage statement of mm -hmm. back then. But you go through her as her five-year-old through most of it, where it's like you're learning why she does certain things because of, of her growing up and, and stuff yeah. like that. But that's what most of the films are really about, unless there's someone being saved of yeah. some magical assortment. Or you have like real random ones like The Wind Rises or... Yeah. Or that one, or well, I guess that's like also that. another theme is World War Two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everything yeah. is technically based on that. Cause Isn't it from a, Up on Poppy Hill like that? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a lot of just Japanese... Yeah, media. But I feel yes. like it's in that time period where, mm -hmm. you know, obviously most of those people were alive during these, like, animation yeah. times. <laughs> like, a, I mean, it's not Ghibli, but, like, Grave of the Fireflies is yeah. the one that's definitely It's based like on it. It's also in the same time period. Yeah. But anytime you see, like, two, two armies fighting, and there's always big explosions. <laughs> like, you know, when they did the laser machine, that's supposed to show the Twice. nukes. Twice. Just like the Wait, thing. no, three times. They did it twice and then it fell apart on the third one. So, oh, okay. Yeah. It was going to go for the third one. <laughs> just <laughs> like we were. <laughs> and then it died. <laughs> but, <laughs> so that's what a lot of the movies are. It's interesting to really think about it if you Feel go back. Feel bad for the bugs. <laughs> Dude, they got fucked. And all she had to do was get hit by a fucking... <laughs> Bug, bug going at Mach 5. You're like, oh no. Did she <laughs> instantly die? Or it was it the falling after she flew like uh, 50 million feet up in the air and just... I don't know. We'll go outside. You get hit by a jet engine. And tell me <laughs> if you die you instantly. Get okay, so you get shot. You step in acid. You get shot twice. You get shot twice. Yeah. You step in acid and then you get hit by a giant scuttle bug. <laughs> <laughs> she was and probably dead way. And then you land on the floor. She was... Yeah... <laughs> and then like, they, while she was staying there she, she was just dead she was mentally yeah. dead and then, and then the bugs did you know magic voodoo and the bugs she penetrated the her injured holes with her tentacles uh huh mm -hmm. what do you say? I saw in the movie yep <laughs> <laughs> which movie are we talking about <laughs> but I don't know I said that from the other movies what are the other movies you oh Ca Castle in the Sky is the other one too that has the very like uh Nausicaa and Howl's feel to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another one that it's in that same ballpark. Well, so, I also still guess I have an issue with some... I fucking most... hate all the characters in that movie. In which one? Castle, Castle in the, the Sky. Sky. Oh, do you? Yeah. I thought most of the characters were good in that movie. They're fine. I like the robot. He, he's okay. He's just a robot. I know. <laughs> he's a robot. He did this. Yeah. <laughs> he's great. That's all he did. He's great. <laughs> But, you know, going, oh, damn, for I was to say, going through all these movies, I don't know. So, what were the ones that you've seen again? So, Spirited Away, I'm guessing. Spirited Away, Kiki, 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 Kiki Howl's, Howl's Moving Castle, Mononoke. Castle in the Sky, Mononoke, Prince Mononoke, Nausicaa. Nausicaa. Nausicaa, and then When Marnie Was Here. When Marnie that, yep. was here. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And um, my top three would be Prince, Prince Mononoke. Then Spirit Away, then Nausicaa, and then everything else. I think I, another thing I like about certain Ghibli movies is the there's a certain sense of surrealism to a few of them. There's only a few like that, obviously. I mean, uh, Spirited Away is a very obvious example. Um, I feel like Totoro has a little bit of that as well. Uh, Howl's has a bit of that as well. But there's like an over an over exaggeration. Of just like everything that's in it, and like from proportions to the way things like it's a very Wonderland kind of feel too. Yeah, yeah and I, I do appreciate that from like a few of like it, it just it just adds to the fantastical of the movie, which is I mean it's meant to like capture the imagination that way, right? Just seeing these just like crazy crazy things that you can really only portray in animation. It's just like it's a perfect medium. For that kind of story. 
Yeah, I feel like most of these you'd have to. There's some of the stories where you could do, like, live actions. No, yeah. But I, I say hope to mostly. God they don't. <laughs> no, Why I'm not? Do I want to see a Ponyo live action? Oh, I'd love oh to Ponyo's see. another one, too, that's like that. But like I said, it's just this exaggerated surrealism yeah. with all the craziness. And you're just like, it's just cool. It's just cool to see, and it just shows the art of animation. Yeah, and get the dog. Dude, it's cool. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, well, we should block it off so he doesn't come down here. Let's say hi to the doggo. Just kidding. Yeah, while well, he steps on all the cords and all the, everything falls over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. But I don't know. So I, I mean, I, I always like Ghibli movies are obviously stuff that I was introduced to as a kid. Same as same as you were, right? No one show. <laughs> For me, it was a couple. I think I watched. No, it was only two. Really, I only I think I only watched Howls and Totoro. Yeah. Because they were VHSs at the local library. And we rented them. They're just like, oh, this is an animated movie, you know. The kids will love it. I watched um, Spirit Away. Spirit Away as a kid. Yeah. But I didn't like it. I actually hated that movie mm-hmm. as a really? kid. Yeah. And then yeah. when I watched it again as like a teenager, I'm like, this is pretty okay. I don't think I've ever had that. There's a few movies where I've gone back on my mind of if they were good. Um... Uh, the Wind Rises is an okay movie. I thought it's, it was decent when it first right. came out. It's just, eh. It's right. It's very boring. It's about a guy who designs airplanes, airplanes going back in, in the war. Going into World War II. <laughs> going into war. Like something Eddie would watch. I have watched it. Yeah. And he enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Totoro, I think, is probably the main big one. That, As a young teen or older... It's gotten worse, just because it's just it's boring and weird, if that makes sense. Because mm-hmm. you, you, it's like the staple of Ghibli, and I don't yeah. know why. Because it has the cute mascot. Yeah, it's mostly it. I don't know. But, I don't know. Because you haven't seen that one, right? No, no. he hasn't seen My Neighbor. So it's basically a girl, or I guess a mother get, his, their mother gets sick, so they're raised by the father. And, you know, two girls just go play. They're one's older, one's younger. And what's crazy and sees ghosts or something? Like spirits? No, well, they all see spirits. They're in like that. Because they see the dust mites. Uh-huh. And they see... Totoro. Totoro. And, and the like the cat bus. Totoros and the cat bus. A little hot stuck. Pretty much. And then <laughs> all that happens really is is the mother gets better. And the kid... Or the kids go missing. And Totoro finds them. Puts them on the the bus, and then they go see their mother, realize she's getting better, and then the movie basically just ends, mm-hmm. and you don't even know like what technically happened to them. They said there's tons <laughs> of theories that the kids are dead, yeah, because you know sounds like a Stephen King movie. Well, it's it, like it, like I said, it's a very it's a very surrealistic it's it's very Alice in Wonderlandy. Yeah. Because, like, when you read Beginning of End in Alice in Wonderland, I mean, she wakes up asleep, right? Yeah. And nothing technically happened. Yeah. But you don't even see him. It just, like, ends and you're like... I also hated that movie. You don't like Alice in Wonderland? Mm-mm. You just have really? taste. Mm-hmm. It's so good, though. No. I think it's we should not, write. Not, I saw the Disney one, didn't like it. Like, the original Disney animated one? Yeah, I didn't like it. I think we gotta change the name of the podcast. <laughs> we, we, we about to throw hands, my man. <laughs> Didn't like the live actions. Oh, no. Live yeah, actions are okay. Yeah, I don't right. really. We don't. <laughs> it looks pretty. I just I didn't find the story interesting. It's just weird. What story? Very, very weird. Well, I feel like Bob, if there's no explosions, he doesn't like stuff. ADD, bro. Like, legit. I I'm... need my Michael Bay, dude. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing you watch. Because you like jujitsu, And the only thing <laughs> that show has for it is explosions. What explosions? I need, the, find, I need the punches, my dude. Same difference. <laughs> you need something that moves on screen constantly. I need some sort of action, yes. Yeah. If recently. there's any type of dialogue, it's like... Oh, yeah. Recently, the past like year, and just like nothing catches my attention you, you, for you, a long time. You become like my dad. He falls asleep if there isn't explosions every five minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's, it's just too much dialogue, I just fall asleep. It's too boring. Tis, 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 I'll become an old man. See, yeah, I'll argue. I'll argue. I like, I'm a happy medium, I guess. I can deal with dialogue, but if it's all dialogue, shoot me. <laughs> but if it's a good, like, dialogue, some something happens. It doesn't even have to be explosions. Just something happens on goddamn screen. Mm-hmm. And then dialogue, I can deal with that. Well, unless it's, like, good drama, I'm like, oh, my God. And then like, no, glued no, no, to no. it. What, you, what you're referring to good drama is, like, Telenovela drama. Oh, I love me that trash drama. You need melodrama. I do. Not, not normal drama. 
you need what you're referring to good drama is melodrama which yes. is not good drama or some some british tv <laughs> yeah it, that is not good drama <laughs> that's melodrama it's an over exaggeration give, give me a list of good drama i'll watch it <laughs> what's a good drama I'm trying to think of like a decent i like birdman personally but that's just me i do uh, like birdman yeah it's a good movie uh, that'd probably be a good drama. I can't really think of... I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'd have to fucking go look for it. <laughs> marriage Story was good. I love I a Marriage Story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's I like I liked the original. I feel like there's one with Leonardo DiCaprio and, uh, and that girl with, um, also in Titanic and they co-starred in that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like Marriage Story. Uh-huh. Love that movie. Yeah. I, I feel like those are what you would consider decent dramas love them yeah where it's not like extremely over over exaggerated yeah um but i mean it's decent but those are all like pretty dialogue heavy movies as well right love them i was just glued <laughs> to them dude well i i just oh no bob is like the levels <laughs> the, the levels of contradiction you know, bob had that reaction yeah that's what he said the levels go. No, that's this is this is yeah, yours. Said Bob. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, don't, I think because I didn't grow up with Gilly movies, and I wasn't very like I guess introduced oh, no. to them as a young ad- until I was a young adult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But by that point, you know, I'm just like. Well, that's probably the problem. Yeah. It's like it's how I feel about Harry Potter in a way. Mm-hmm. A lot of the whimsical comes if you're a kid that grew up on it. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, you, because you don't think about it very much. You just see. Them. You have to be able to shut off your brain on the, yeah, the yeah. fake stuff. Yeah, exactly. And also not be boring. Because <laughs> Bob yeah. can shut off his brain. We all know that. Uh-huh. <laughs> but if it's boring and he has to shut off his brain, it's like. But the, then I, I, I have yeah. my two moves where, like, I'm going to fucking analyze every single thing about this fucking movie and you just ruin it forever. I or just completely that, leave dead, <laughs> brain dead and like, yes, explosions. <laughs> I don't know. It's I just, mean, it depends. I like Ghibli movies as an art form. I do appreciate yeah. how they look and the, and like the messages and the, the music. Yeah. But as an entertainment, I guess, source, I, it's not my go-to. I, I feel like in a way, the best uh, comparison I can make is how I feel about um, uh, Acura. Um, is the same way like i i as an art piece it is just it's beautiful mm -hmm. like the things they did with the hand-drawn animation the colors they had to introduce all these things is just it's it's mind-blowing but like as a movie like it's it's okay it's okay there's some good (laughs) stuff about that movie but there's a lot of just like you're like why why and then it just kind of ends and you're like yeah you're like but there's so much that's like, who's this organization? Yeah. Are they still around? What I, the fuck? I felt so, like, empty, but in a bad way. Yeah. It's just like, you fed me all this, but, like, I it, there's no nourishment. That's why, that's why I feel like it's one of those films you just you just appreciate for what they did. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's very different. Obviously, you know, you take other movies from the time period that actually does make the effort story-wise. Take something like uh, Ghost in the Shell. Which Ghost in the Shell isn't as, um, let's say, isn't as intense or isn't as like, uh, it didn't reinvent a lot of things for animation the way Acura did. No. But. But it looked good. But it looked, I mean, it still looks good. (laughs) And you still have that cohesive story all the way through and the appreciation for the art form. Whereas I think Acura is pure spectacle. Well, I think that's more of the issues with some of the Ghibli stuff that I don't like. Yeah. Is it just ends. Like, I can deal with the with the wholesome end, like a wholesome show that just yeah. ends. Like, Kiki, it just ends. Yeah. Nausicaa, it just ends. But you kind of know in your mind where it's going. Yeah. Like, Prince of Mononoke, it just ends, too, if yeah. you really think about it. Because, you know, he does all that saving, and then you're like, oh, cool. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> saved his god or whatever. Then. Okay. <laughs> But that's all they really do. But in your imagination, you can kind of push things forward on what's going to happen. Yeah. But then there is, like, uh, the earwig one where it ends and it's like, here's the mother. Boom. You're like, <laughs> but 
that's a big thing that should happen. <laughs> it's just so weird because she it's not like she knew she had a, she, that's her mother. Yeah, she no. does. She's just like, this person's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, who's the red hair chick? Like, she doesn't have, like, she never had that realization in her mind. Yeah. I, nor did anybody else. I, I feel like there was a lost, a missed opportunity. Well, I also wonder if the two uh, adoption parents realized who she was. I don't think they did. Do you not? I no. think they almost did because I feel like they like maybe noticed the essence of magic on. Oh her no, they probably something. knew that, but they didn't know it was like her, her kid. I said there's no, she... there's nothing to show that. I like how they're like there's this note like oh I'm being pursued by twelve witches. Okay, you have this baby. I'll be back in a few years or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's like they knew like oh yeah, witches magic normal. It's totally fine. Well, they just kind of laughed it off. But it was just weird, like, they never explained what the 12 witches things yeah. were. She was like, oh, this is the rules they have to follow by. What rules? I, I, I ever gotten. <laughs> I feel like it's a movie that suffered for trying to be too much of a kid's movie. Yeah. Because I feel like the time spent on her shenanigans, like, could have been, like, rearranged into different... I mean, it's, it's, it's the type of movie, if you look at its premise, that could have been, like, a very decent, like, family drama. Yeah. Just with, you know, a little bit of the, the magic. magic sprinkled in. But, like, there's, like, ideas that could have been explored and stuff Well, the problem is the they course. put the idea in. Yeah. It's almost like Lost, where they kept jamming shit in. And then... And then they're, <laughs> like... They're, well, they, they have, like, a whole pamphlet of uh, notes. What's the... What's the what's the analogy I thought? Oh, it's the traditional it's the traditional um uh what's his face? JJ Abrams way of making a movie. You throw all these thread, uh, threads yeah. but never tie it. never tie them off. Well, now to me what the movie was, it's like you put all these notes in a fucking notebook and then you flick it and then you pull out some random one and you're like, "We'll finish this one." And then you're like, "Okay, I finished the one Be thread." Because I so I as far as like a story like a fantasy story is concerned, I am okay with the idea of certain threads introduced or certain ideas in the world that are just not addressed because the character would never know. Yeah. Which I'm okay to a certain degree, yeah. right? But I feel like if there is a thread that is very important to the main character and to what they have to go through and everything around, I feel like that's one that definitely should be addressed. I just wonder and, if this movie had an extra 10 minutes. Yeah, like, and, legit just 10 minutes? Uh-huh. If they would, all they needed to explain was about the mother. Yeah. And I think it would have been a way better movie. I would have been okay if they didn't explain it or whatever, and then she was up the end. But she had this question of, like, who are my parents? Where do I come from? But she never questioned that. And no. then they also introduced, like, oh, here you go. Here's this random tape. Here's this random band. You live with the band or whatever. I wanted to know why they it's, broke up. How did we get here? It, it's, so, it's so funny, too, because I feel like... I mean, you have a character that reads mystery novels. I, it surprises me that that's not the side of things they leaned into, right? It's not her trying to discover all these things in the house because these things are popping up and they're just like, oh, that's weird, right? <laughs> and start, But it started like chasing those threads. Yeah, yeah I feel right? like more she read the uh, mystery or you know, novels as a, a thread of, <laughs> she was the bad guy in those <laughs> and she learned everything they did because it's like I can do that <laughs> it's like I am Moriarty <laughs> <laughs> that's how I picture all my mystery movies I'm like yeah I could be the killer I know exactly how they did it here we go <laughs> but I'd be like I could discover that I because that's the feeling I mean I feel like the setup would have been it, it could have made such a good like pretty much family drama or just drama with just a fantasy element sprinkled through. See, I think it. I think it needed to go two ways. It it could have went pure kids movie, where you just deal with the magical elements and don't really deal with the mother at all. Yeah. Or you go down the family drama and you add a little bit of the magical. Yeah. And you deal with that. Uh -huh. It went like right down the middle, and it well, didn't did hit. It didn't hit the other one. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. like you just rolled the ball and you're like. <laughs> like, I mean, that's okay. why I don't mind for like some Ghibli movies are just like tastes of these worlds, yeah, right? Like you're, fun. yeah, you're only because it's an hour and a half animated it's feature, hour to two, yeah. yeah. So it's like you're just given a glimpse into these worlds, and and to be honest, I almost kind of prefer it when things are like that. I don't mind it, yeah. Where it's uh, they don't show you everything, but yeah. they show you enough of the world to understand. Yeah, you, you so you understand the rules at the beginning, yeah, and then you just get to watch this character go through that part of their life. Yeah. 
There's that, an arc. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There is an arc. Yeah. And it's not like, it's not this huge arc. It's not this crazy. It's almost for the same reason why I like stuff like Birdman, right? Because it's not, mm-hmm. you're, it's not this big, crazy, overdramatic arc. You're just looking at a glimpse of these people's lives with whatever little arc or whatever growth they're going through. But you just get a taste of these like fantastical worlds with it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's something that's it's refreshing in its own way. Because I feel like that movie, like, you know how the arc is just up and down? Yeah. Normally. To me, that movie is like up and then over. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you're like, it, it didn't even go down. It just ended. <laughs> it ended on the peak of what's going to happen. It just went peak and just yeah. plateaued. Yeah. Because that's what I, I, I enjoyed that they don't, like, try to be epics. Yeah. They're just kind of like... It's like, here's like, a natural thing uh-huh. with normal, like, things that could happen in real life if they're not, like, super over the top. That could happen, and they show you a little bit of these cool worlds, a little yeah. bit of these characters. You won't see their whole life, but, you know, it's just interesting that way. Mm-hmm. But then, I also feel like you have the other half of the stories, which are just almost pure romances of, like, uh, that age period. Oh, like yeah. Whatever, oh, middle yeah. school to high school, you have tons of romance stuff in it. I mean, it has the, I mean, it has the Disney vibe, right? Because... I mean, technically, Hayao Miyazaki and Ghibli and stuff. I mean, that's that's where Japanese animation receives its inspiration from, right? Yeah. It's from old Disney, going back to, like, obviously, like, things like Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan and Snow White, Pinocchio, those, that old, old, like, age of Disney. And you see a little bit of that. Because old Disney is not, you know, the procedural, every big movie has to be a musical kind of thing, right? Like, the older movies are more free to be a little bit more, like, weird, right? And I feel like Ghibli latched onto that side of things while introducing certain, like, Japanese sensibilities and ideas and folklore and stuff. Which is why you get these, like, weird, fantastical films. And it includes stuff like that, like, you know, like the romance and coming of age, which is what a lot of old Disney had. Yeah. I prefer the musicals, though. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, they're nice. It's catchy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, you're you're watching a Broadway show that's animated. Yeah, loved it. <laughs> I know it, it's great, right? I'm I'm just saying, obviously, the 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 what we consider the golden age of Disney, right? It, it comes after a lot of these films, yeah. anyway, because that's in the '90s, and we watched Nausicaa, which was done in '84, yeah. right? And before so, Daft Punk, <laughs> yeah, and, and Kiki's was before that, I think too as yeah, well. There's tons of them before it if you're really going through because probably Totoro is before as well. Totoro, Kiki's. What's the first Ghibli movie? The first, it's, it's one of these random ones, probably yeah. like the Yamadas. But Oof. Tales of Esther or uh, Earthsea's Earth kind of old. old. Ocean Waves. Well, that was done by Goro, so it can't be that old. No, but um. But I feel, Can't but turns, like, so I'm awesome. saying it's like, so that's what they grabbed onto, right? Because yeah. mm-hmm. you can, when you watch these movies, there's a lot more similarities to stuff like Sword in the Stone mm-hmm. or like the Black Cauldron or, or like I said, those old Disney films. And, and I feel like that's what has the most similarities to these in, in structure and the weirdness. Cause those old movies just end. Yeah. Sword in the Stone just mm-hmm. ends. Uh, like I don't even remember it. Yeah, see, when I've seen it. Yeah. yeah, and 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 I feel like that's kind of like the vibe that it has. Just you know, it tells you the story, adapt. and then it's just like you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like I can see where they're going, or maybe what might happen, or so you can make up the rest of the story if you want to. But I think most of their stuff is adaptations of books or short stories in general. Uh huh. So probably like if you went through Earwig, it probably. I don't know if it's exactly the same as the movie, but it probably like halfway through the book is about that movie, and then you'd watch the other half of the drama of her coming back to meet the group. Is what I would guess. I haven't seen it. Didn't even know. What Do you think they're is. setting it up for a, a part season two? I mean, part, part two. two? A season, yeah. two. <laughs> season two. I kind of <laughs> doubt it. No, I think it's a one off. Yeah. It was a one off. This is how we adapt the thing. Well, uh, take another one from here, right? We'll take Tales of Earthsea, right? Because. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, because it's based on a book series. They took bits and pieces of four books mm. and try to make a plot out of it. I don't know how I feel about and that. And then named it after an anthology of short stories within that series. Hmm. Yeah. So, and it, it's interesting because, I mean, Earthsea, 
like the books is done by a, a fantasy legend right in ursula k Le Guin. but it's it's interesting what they picked from different places and how they try to like cohesive it's it does it's like you're trying to take all of narnia and putting it into one hour and a half <laughs> thing Fuck, it's dude. like they've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, and so I mean, that's I that's my issue with that one. But like I said, it does come from books. I mean, it's the troubles of adaptation that you get from anything, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I feel like it works so much better with the simple things like Kiki's and stuff like that. Where to you, me, it's good. You don't for have those stories tethers. Stories that aren't meant to go past one. That's why it's yeah. normally like the wholesome ones are pretty good or like even the hard action ones that have like a pretty definitive ending like Nausicaa or even or Among Okay, okay yeah. where they end but there's still stuff that isn't fully finished. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, what are they going to do next after they just realize their whole world's not fully fucked and if they can save it. And it's like, like, oh, that'd be cool to know but, you know, I got enough information that I can kind of see where it will go. Or we just drop another nuke and then... Yeah. <laughs> now we know where it went. <laughs> another one of those laser boys. Another laser boy. That oh, didn't, I thought no. we were going to get like Godzilla 3 or something. Godzilla you know, Destroy All You know what watching that movie in order reminds me of too now? Well, I'm obviously because the other came after. Uh, Dunes? No, 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 no. Uh, Star Wars. Hyper Light Drifter. But that's... that's oh, game. the game? Yeah. Because the colossi, and the, oh, and the yeah. big ass, like and like yeah. like the way they did the animation for that is very. So you were going to say tem- tremblers or tremors or whatever? No, <laughs> tremors. No, I'm mean, not. No, sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I almost don't. I almost feel like it, there's probably a sense of inspiration that comes from stuff like that because you can probably see the inspiration of these films and what they do in later works. Uh, you see, especially just Studio Ghibli, the art style in general, right? Yeah. Uh, you have like the Nino Kuni games, yeah, which heavily borrow from that art style. Uh, you can see very large similarities, even in the modern. If you look at how they design Breath of the Wild, right, Legend of Zelda, like the landscaping and everything, it's very Ghibli esque. Mm-hmm. I feel like Studio Ghibli does the backgrounds just uh-huh. perfectly. Yep, like going through some of these art books. If you go through, just like. Just some grass is so well drawn, or so well, I guess it's painted. Yeah, so well painted. You're like. You're like Bob Ross out here doing <laughs> each cell. You're like, God, this is amazing. Happy little grace. <laughs> You're like, this this one, this one background would have took me like three days to make. And it took this guy ten seconds because he has to do 3,000 of them <laughs> for this one scene. And I feel like, I mean, obviously it's a... Uh, I mean, you can always argue about whether or not, you know, old style animation is better than new and stuff. Uh, there's questions of efficiency and stuff like yeah. that. I mean... There's just a certain, like, it's just different, right? I mean, in the sense that, like, obviously, a digital background doesn't show, like, the same imperfections and the same kind of, you don't see the brush strokes and the, and the like, it's, you could tell they were made differently and the compensations they had to do because of it, right? Yeah. And I feel like there's a certain, I don't know, I mean, obviously, there's a nostalgic feeling to these movies, especially if they're movies that you've seen you know growing up but even i don't i think i i think even if you haven't you can you can kind of feel a certain sense of like nostalgia to them and the way yeah. they're drawn and the way they're presented and i don't i don't know it's like a it's just nice i feel like these movies are probably like the peak of hand drawn looking like animation of the time and stuff yeah. cuz i can't really think of anything that pushes that like same boundaries and stuff of like constant out too, because as we said, we talked about uh, Ghost in the Shell or, or Akira. Uh, or Akira. Or... They look nice, but that's one studio doing it once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, where this at least and they I mean, can keep it going. And I mean, obviously, you know, if you go with series, obviously there's series of the time that are yeah. are nice in their own way in that sense. But I feel like I don't know. I I feel like hand drawn does have a certain appeal to the way it ends up looking. I don't necessarily believe everything should be done that way. Because no. I believe different stories, like, they benefit from different mediums. Yeah. It's just interesting to me how it's done. I don't know. Like, you see, you kind of see a little bit more. I, I think you see a little bit more of the artist in it. Which I, I understand with digital. I mean, obviously, people put their blood, sweat, and tears into it. And, it, yeah. it, and you can see it. You can still see it in a lot of stuff that happens, right? It, it's just, and you can, but I feel like you almost see the signature of the artist 
like as in like the hand drawn. But but I mean that's just maybe that's just you know this knowledge. That's me that's me being a boomer. So <laughs> yeah, I, I kinda agree more with that. <laughs> yeah, that's me being a boomer. Well, so the only thing I because I know it's hand drawn, the only thing that blows my mind is normally like the background. Oh, yeah. The scenes where there's like water. Cause what what scene was it with the, when they're driving the car and the windshield wipers? Oh, that was in only yesterday. Oh, well, only yesterday. Yeah. So there's a scene of them just driving, and you know when you're in the rain, you're you're when you do the wipers, you get that streak. Yeah. So it would be like rain on the window, and they would hit the wiper, and it would, you'd see the streak with the drips coming uh-huh. out the corners where you don't hit normally. Like the tension to detail is way too strong. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like it's like ah, this is really nice. But you don't you don't have to do this. Not many people will notice. They have to. I think if you didn't, they will notice. Like it just looks kind of weird. Yeah, I, I mean, probably, like but... I said, it's like. But I feel like, I feel like a, that attention to the detail is not something someone notices consciously. No, unless you're either looking for yeah. it. Yeah, but 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 I, but I do feel like you notice you notice a difference in quality. Whether it would be there or not, mm-hmm. like when it's over, you may not have been like, "I saw that detail," but your brain doesn't like register the weirdness of the lack thereof, yeah. even in the back of your mind. It's just like that was nice, right? Like everything just worked out, and that was no, it was it was nice to look at. Yeah. It was pleasant to the eye. Cause stuff like that, so that didn't need to be done. No, because they they went above and top. Because you know when you hit the windshield, you have th- like four spots that. Doesn't hit. You have that yeah. weird triangle on the bottom, the weird triangle on top, and then the lines. They got all of that. You're just like, you don't need the tri- both triangles. You can miss one. <laughs> That's fine, guys. I, I, you don't need to spend an extra forty minutes to do two extra drops. It's funny, in in, in like in Disney animation, that uh that kind of going above and beyond has a name. What's that? It's called bumping the lamp. Oh. Uh, it's bumping it, the lamp. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a reference to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh. Because there there's a scene. In that movie, because the, the way that movie's done, it's, I mean, it's done, they they painted, they did the animation on the film. Mm-hmm. So instead of, you know, compiling it in or putting it, it's like done, they filmed everything and they did all the animation on it. But there's a scene in Roger Rabbit where they're in the basement and there's a lamp and Roger hits the lamp. And so the lamp swings, changing the shadows and the lighting of the room. Mm-hmm. And they changed his animation to mimic that shadow and lighting throughout the entire scene. To the point where, like, the light passes behind his ears. And mm-hmm. you can see, like, the membranes mm-hmm. in the ear and stuff. And it's just it's just extreme above and beyond. Yeah. That isn't necessary. It's something in the you ima- won't notice, yeah. but they did it so well they are like, damn. Yeah, because it's, it's supposed to give that, that sense of... That sense of realism to the yeah. scene that you're like you, you don't immediately capture, but your brain doesn't raise any flags either. Yeah. That's why it's called bumping the lap. But it's it's stuff like that in those movies, like the little details you see in places that you're like, oh, that's interesting. What's a sorry? The another thing that came to my mind. Uh, something that I do enjoy, like looking at these films, is how Ghibli is not afraid to animate lots of people or lots of entities. Mm-hmm. At the same like, time, fucking like fucking bugs. <laughs> it's like, dude, they put like thirty bugs in this one cell, I love and you're that. like, and they all shift just a little bit constantly. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not just there too. Like you'll you'll see crowds oh, yeah. of individually animated people in things like Kiki's. Uh, oh, yeah. a, a crazy one of me is like Spirited Away, where you have all the weird spirits and all the just insanity. <laughs> well, that also bear wants to bring me to another point of. Uh, Studio Ghibli does I don't know if it's the right word monsters or people like not not human creatures yeah. Yeah. very well so they'll do like the spirits who uh-huh. spirit away look really nice but then you have Nausicaa where they have the bugs but they also have they created uh, like monsters like that live in the world mm-hmm. like the flying bugs the 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 fucker squirrel that you saw, or whatever oh, yeah, you called the, it, the fox squirrel, the fox squirrel, <laughs> yeah. which is probably one of my favorite things they've ever designed. But th- yeah, they do animals so well because even some of the uh, main stuff is pretty good. Yeah, I, I mean, you like a, stuff like in Totoro. Yeah, uh, Princess Mononoke is a very big one. Um, but that, that's something I do like. That's also part of the 
the the appreciation I have. For instance, we'll go back to like a, how Disney animation works. You'll see a lot of like similar characters that are just like cut and paste, like your, yeah. your basic mobs. <laughs> brown haired dude with glasses. Brown haired yeah. dude without glasses. And it's glasses. It's, and it's not very often that you see like individual characters, right? Yeah. In, amongst the crowd, whatever. Yeah. Right. But like Ghibli takes like the effort to like give every single character that will like be on the screen like a distinct personality. Well, they do the exact view. opposite of most anime does where it's like there's the pink haired character, everybody else has black hair. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the main character? <laughs> where Ciro Ghibli's yeah. like, hey, that guy's got some interesting hair, doesn't he? Yeah. But you don't care about that guy. Let's move him along. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, like, and the witch. I'm like, spot the main character. Hmm. Well, that one oh, is probably yeah. one of the few. But, but I mean, like, when you watch Nausicaa, it's like all the village people had very distinct looks to them. Almost like everyone you saw. Princess Mononoke. It, yeah, Princess Mononoke. Oh, I just thought they all had big mustaches. I'm like, hmm. Well, some of them did. Well, yeah. I feel like all the military guys yeah. had, like, the... <laughs> Yeah. Dude, that that was the biggest brain animation play. Is everyone had the big, big beards so or mustache and it's like or that face mask. And so you don't have to animate, animate the them. mouth. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, <laughs> they just put it somewhere else. The budget. They're like, oh yeah, just add two thousand bugs to this one <laughs> picture. It's like, oh, you want me to draw the background once with all the bugs? Yeah. It's like, no, no, they're all gonna shift <laughs> an inch. <laughs> You're like, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it's like it's like that dedication to like that that level of detail is just it's just so good yeah. and it, it, it's 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 something that you don't really see so often in just animated yeah. films in, well, in general. It's almost going the weird furry route of like you just don't see many creatures that are like portrayed magically. That's not just like a straight up fox or a straight up basically a furry. <laughs> Where this is is like it's like. Here's this, like, uh, Porco Rosso. It's this weird pig guy, and he's a military pilot for Jap- Italy? Italy. Yeah, yeah. Italy? He's for Italy. And, uh, you know, he's he ran away from the army. He didn't want to do that stuff. But since he did that, he got a curse put on him, and now he's a pig. And everyone loves him. I don't know why. <laughs> but he's the only cursed thing in the movie. Like, everybody else is humans. It's just normal. <laughs> And you're just like, at the end of the movie, he becomes human, but you don't see his face. Wow. You're just like, oh, he was human. You're like, oh, okay. That's cool, I guess. Uh But they do that type of magic stuff cool. Because the same thing in uh, Spirit Away with the pig family. Uh When they eat and they start to transform. Yeah. Yeah. Just done very well. Like I said, it's like, it's it's the, the, the world's, like, it feels like everything fits into the way these worlds work. Yeah. Right? There's nothing... It no, nothing calls attention to itself in the sense that this shouldn't be here. Everything is like, yeah, uh, take Kiki's. Totally normal for a chick just to go out at 13 on a broom. Yeah. And go to some city. You know? Uh, it's, it's like, it was funny, because, you know, some of the people are like, oh, we've never seen a witch before. But uh-huh. we're like, we understand what you normally do. Yeah. I guess we teach it in I history. Heard of, I've heard of witches, yeah. <laughs> I learned that in history, too. Uh, witches. Uh... <laughs> but it's, it's just interesting, right? Because, I mean, you're you're used to the sensibilities that you have, you know, in the world we live in. Yeah, it's like you see a flying witch, you're going to go, what the fuck? <laughs> but, the, the, it's, it, but the world's run by their own rules. Yeah. And I, I just kind of like how they, they, they stick to that to a certain sense. It's like... Um, I, I, I've mentioned this plenty of times. It's like the modern the modern problem of always wanting to be meta and like uh, breaking the fourth wall kind Uh-oh. of thing, like poking fun at itself. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is ridiculous, right? This is totally ri-. But I feel like things benefit when it like they like lean into the ridiculousness. When they when make they, it real. Yeah, when they it. lean into the fantastical. Yeah. I feel like it makes the world feel more real. Than if you were just like, oh, that shouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, it's like in Mononoke where the guy's got the purple or the the black slime thing and he shoots it or uses it as. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're like, damn, that was strong. But, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, it's some weird creature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Moves on. Yeah. Like, oh, and it's, it's, just, it's just cool. I, I do like, and it, it doesn't have a need to over explain itself to either, right? Because yeah. I feel like that's another problem with modern literature and stories is the idea of I must explain everything. I gotta explain how the magic works, you know, and it, that's done a lot 
almost on the idea of like, yeah, the audience is too dumb to tell that this is just magic and it does its thing, right? Well, I think that's what all magic should be. This period, it's just like it's magic. It's yeah. like no, it has to have some science. Fuck you, magic. Fuck you. <laughs> magic is magic. I don't care where it came from. I yeah. don't care if a unicorn shat it out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like I understand, I understand like the the appeal of hard magic systems, right? In the sense, like there's rules that guard. I mean, well, there, there's yeah. there's I, there's there is callbacks to this even in folklore and stuff like that. Yeah, there's limitations. But yeah. I hate when they try to explain magic that should be unexplainable, in a weird in a weird way. You know, yeah. it's like the like um, what's another way they do this? Like anything that has to be any magical, any doodads, like things go out of their way to try to explain it and then you lose such valuable time that could be spent with the characters or with the story when you can just be like there's magic it's gonna happen <laughs> progress because that's not what's important what's important is what these characters go through and what they see yeah but i want to know how that magic item became to be who made it <laughs> how they shoved their ass into yeah. the magic item to give you that spell and, and that's something i do love about these two it's I, the thing is like you like the princess mononoke he uses a thing Cool. It doesn't have to explain it. Doesn't explain where he got it. It's just a thing that exists in the world. Yeah. And then you're like, cool, sweet. That, cool. I and guess I, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and, well, and I mean, it just feels like it. I think it makes the world feel more alive because you're. It's almost like you're, like you're on the outside looking into something that's alive and moving, compared to something that is very clearly fabricated because mm. it's being explained to you. I don't know. I mean, that's why. That's one of the reasons I, I really do enjoy these movies. Yeah, I see that. But I don't know. I said the only only movie that I would argue the opposite would have been the one we just watched because it didn't no, explain no, I, <laughs> half the stuff that it showed. But but then no, I, I, I but I no, mentioned the other thing. that one thing. Remember the the blue the voodoo chick. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you have any news for us today? Sure. Let's see. Oh, I, I gotta got close our one thing so I can fucking see our news. <laughs> Where's my mouse? I found my mouse, guys. You find your mouse? Okay. So, I'll, since I can't see, I think I know what the headline was. Oh, yeah. Coca Cola launches vending machine subscription service in Japan. Wow. This is the biggest brain thing I've ever heard. Like, do I get it delivered to my house? No, 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 no. So you'll probably get like a card or something. Uh, it probably says in the article, but it'll tell you the price it's here. 25 bucks a month. 25 bucks. So if you really think about it, how much is a Coke product? From like any a, vending machine? From, yeah. So if it's a Coke uh, product, you're going between a dollar to two, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So 30 days within the month. That means... If you get one a month? Yeah. Or one a day. Yeah, one a day. Yeah. So you that's like, if it's a dollar, you're saving five dollars right there. Yeah. That's not counting, you know, if it's like a dollar. And it's usually more than that. So. Yeah. So I just think they're also doing it because I guess the the vending machines got really hit during the pandemic, which yeah. I didn't, I would never thought of because it's a, it's a vending machine. <laughs> I you don't want to touch it. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like it's the the thing of everyone touches it. It's like the reason yeah. why buffets you know, in the U.S. Going, yeah, yeah. Same same. But I don't. Same yeah, issues. Yeah. I can see that either way. But I think it's a it's just a, it's a good idea to get back into it. But I wonder how long they're gonna keep that Do structure. people drink that much Coke in Japan? Mm -hmm. What? Coke is like the only soda you find there, mate. Yeah. Well, the Coke products, there's Fanta and Sprite. That's oh. about it. That's yeah, but it. I feel like a lot of Coke products are there because they also make coffee. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it's not black coffee. What is it? There's a brand. Like the Mr. Boss coffee kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, not, not Boss I know, coffee, I know. But, but, yeah, but, but the, there's a brand of coffee yeah. that Coke owns that's pretty popular. Gotcha. But it doesn't say Coke on it. But Coke's pretty popular out there. And Imagine if we did that here. How fat everyone would be. <laughs> Many of you did that. Oh, then Facebook will go out of business. Oh, dude. <laughs> Thank we're, God. We're like one of the only states that probably has stuff like that, right? They have all the like soda bars. Soda addicts. Yeah. Yeah. I, wonder, I, wonder I need my 64 ounce thing of soda every day. Well, I mean, that's just kind of the U.S. in general, right? Oh, my God. It's like the when you go and you see like the super big gulp or the yeah. giant fucking mugs. Ridiculous. At, like Maverick or 7-Eleven. Dude, the Maverick mugs. I don't know like how much that costs to fill up, but the thing's like <laughs> it's cheap. That I think it's and, I, like that deep. I think it is only like a buck fifty to fill. Oh, Dude, God. by the time you drink all of it, it won't even be carbonated anymore. 
or won't be cold and it'll be yeah. like you have to uh, put no ice in it but they're they're pretty heavily insulated those mugs like if you see yeah, them yeah they but, are but still man you drink all that soda that's though? that's a lot, that's a lot. Yeah. how much sugar you think that is <laughs> think 2000 <laughs> <laughs> percent okay good let's say you fill it all with Mountain Dew sure that was 44 grams for 12 ounces for 12 ounces how much how many ounces are in that little uh, we'll say at least 64 my God, <laughs> uh, that's like a billion. I can't even Some do that, man. No, I, th- I think I think it is sixty-four. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so it's like what? Twelve times five. It's like five, five. times five. So forty-four Four. times five. Oh, that's like that's at least two hundred, right? Yeah. I mean, I that's mean, like, fountain <laughs> soda. The the concentration <laughs> of sugar is a little less. Uh-huh. Because it's soda water that dilutes the syrup. Yeah. But even then, you're it only still doesn't that's matter. only like ten grams of sugar you're losing <laughs> out of like the two hundred something you just consumed. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Well, either way, that's pretty yeah. cool. And I guess the other news was uh, the Science Gate one. Oh, it finally came out. Yeah, the oh, thing came it? out. It? It's it? just a collab oh. with a uh, Gotcha game. I think I can't read it from here because I'm blind as fuck. But I think it's on there somewhere. If you click on it, I'll um. I think ma- it's. I'll read it. Mages. Uh, uh, what know. what gotcha games are there? <laughs> I don't remember. It c- comes out. Why is it? It's all oh, like a week ago. March seventeenth. No. It, it came out three days ago. <laughs> I think it's where the announcement one. was three days ago. Starlight Read oh. Live. That's what it is. Uh, Rev- Review Starlight. Whatever yeah. that is. Whatever this is. Weird. What game is that? No idea. No, oh, we don't have it here, so it doesn't matter. Some game in Japan. But yeah, yeah. that's what the whole information was. <laughs> oh. A lot of Sad people day. are tilted about it because they're like, oh, big information and nothing. <laughs> Oof. So, that's really it on the news. They, I don't know if there's anything. They got you baited. Anything else? We oh, there's one thing uh, I, I wanted to talk about really fast because we were talking about movies and I just remembered. Okay. Uh, so, speaking of Spirited Away, right? Because uh-huh. Spirited Away is considered was considered the number one grossing film, uh, animated film in general, right? Yeah. Which was recently overtaken. By Soul? Uh, by the uh, the Demon Slayer. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, it's interesting because uh, I remember I saw this and I was like, what the, whoa. Uh, do you guys uh, know what rating it received in the US? Wait, what? The newest movie? Uh-huh. Because it's, it's about to air and it's, it's about to play oh, in so the US. Who's rated this? Uh, the The US. No, I mean, is it like... The, the, is it critics or is it people? No, no, no. I, I don't mean... I don't mean like critic rating. I mean oh, you like, mean like oh, it's gonna be R or something yeah, it stupid is, it's like R. that. Yeah. For it's what? A, For the the Mugen Train. The, it's rated R. It's rated R. Yeah. Why is it rated R? Uh, it says bloody images and violence. Oh my fuck you! It's <laughs> only have like way worse. It's funny because in the uh, in Japan, I, it was a fun little article I saw. I'm just like, oh, interesting. Because uh, in the in Japan, it's rated like like pg-12 whatever mm-hmm. yeah. whatever japan's equivalent to pg-13 is yeah right but when it came over to the u.s it's considered rated r mm-hmm. so you tell me the show is ready and for mature sure <laughs> I, I i it was just it was a stupid thing i saw and i wanted to bring up because I, I, I just thought it was so i thought it was i thought it was dumb i thought it was funny weird oh well, there's one other show i do want to talk about that we all started ball masters God tier yeah. show. Ballmasters? Ballmasters. Ball Remember we were watching it when you were doing, was it during his taxes? Yeah, he was doing with the, his with taxes. The, with the ball and he throws and they transform oh, into the, the adult yeah, swim yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I finished the show. Uh-huh. There's two seasons of it. And it's season two ends as a cliffhanger. Like, you know, yeah, all yeah. cartoon shit, I guess. Yeah. It's a fucking hilarious show. Because there's, <laughs> like, the art style changes so much because it's, like, that shitty drawn cartoon. Yeah. And then there's, like, episodes where there's, like, cute anime characters. Or you got these, like, gritty, like, uh, dark monsters. But you just get all that stuff. And it's just kind of really funny how it uh, changes throughout the <laughs> the uh, show. And, like, all the fight scenes are very, very <laughs> well drawn. But I'd recommend finishing it. They're yeah. only like there's half hour episodes. Twenty. I think there's ten right? ten episodes in a season. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're eleven minutes each. We've oh, watched already half of the first yeah. season. So. Yeah, so it's just something to put on in the background. I'd recommend. Really Sweet. Want, I really want to watch Evangelion Four. Me too. And I keep seeing videos on YouTube like I don't. No. I, I don't and, touch and those. And like no, get away from me because I, I want to go in clean. Yeah, I don't of touch course. those. 
I don't touch any. If I know there's a movie coming out, I don't touch anything because, about it. Because I know they've aired like the first 10 minutes at yep. like a convention or stuff. Mm, not touching no, them. at the end of like something that they did uh-huh. at yeah. a convention. And I'm, the whole time I'm just being like, nope, 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 nope. nope YouTube, get nope. away from, don't I, recommend me this the, shit. The only thing I've known from that is the song that Utala Hiko did. It's not a really good song. It's a very good song. Yeah. Uh, and that's about it. That's all I know. That's all you need to know until yep. the movie comes out. Yep. I and then we don't talk about it. <laughs> do, do we know when it's coming out here? No. It barely came out in Japan. We're not seeing it until way, way later this year. 2023. 2022, <laughs> maybe. No, probably, no, it'll be at the end of the year. I don't year. even want it dubbed. I just want, I just want to watch it. It'll be at the end of the year. Yeah, but the problem is you'll get both at the same time. Because mm. yeah. the thing is we don't get the movie here until like the Blu-ray release comes out, oh basically. My God. About, it's around that time. They take forever. It's around mm-hmm. that time. Especially because, well, for films, I don't know. I don't know how it works because the budgets are different. But obviously for, like, anime, there there's re reshoots. <laughs> 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 you know, to bump up quality and stuff. Because that's actually where they get their money from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But movies might be different. But, yeah. I'm excited for that whenever that happens. But the Demon Slayer movie is, like, next month. Which I am not touching a movie theater with a 10-foot pole yet. But, yeah. We, it's not coming on HBO? No. Obviously, well, not. it's not gonna come out on HBO. <laughs> this guy, uh, I do wonder if Fandango will do something like that because they normally touch those type of movies. If they'll do a stream at home version or something, bro, I'll rent out a whole theater, theater. Just, to, just to watch Demon Slayer. It's like hundred bucks. It's and pretty they, cheap. It bro. is yeah. super cheap and, right now. And they were like, we just go all three of us, easy. I it's mean, almost <laughs> as much as the cost to go to the theater before anyway, the pandemic yeah. <laughs> was. Without snags. <laughs> True. Uh-huh. We just bring our own easy. Yeah, easy I easy. heard they're also way more lenient on snacks. Like, legit people are bringing in, like... I'm going to bring my grill. <laughs> like No, like, people are bringing in pizzas. Oh, like, from, yeah. like, Little Caesars, just <laughs> walking in and, like, welcome to the movie <laughs> theater. It's because they want people so bad that they're just, like... Uh, but I feel like a movie theater, I'm pretty sure like 90% of the income is from the large ass soda and the popcorn. No, that's, 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 like what, that's what I've heard. 30 bucks. I've heard that too because I think they have to buy licenses to show movies. Yeah. So they don't get like any, they don't, well, they don't get most they get a of the, of the no, movie profit. But the majority of their profits comes from concessions. The $15 popcorn yep. that's this big and the soda that's like yeah. <laughs> And then you can America. upgrade for a dollar for infinite popcorn. <laughs> infinite soda. Yeah. yeah. That's my, my favorite. That no one ever does because you don't want to leave the theater. Yeah. In the middle of a movie. And I hate when you drink so much soda and you have to go pee and like I want to miss the movie. See my rule is I, if I I normally go and I'll buy the big popcorn and big drink because, you know, it's cheaper that way than buying, like, a big popcorn by itself or just the soda. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, I'll just get the combo. And then I'll get the soda, put a little bit of ice, so I'll last (laughs) after the movie, and then I'll get the popcorn, refill it, and then go home with extra popcorn. That's this was big brain. Big brain place. Dude, I don't know what movie theater and popcorn is, what they do to it. It's got it here. Coconut Coconut oil. Oh really? I think they cook, they they fry in coconut oil. I thought it's yeah, what I heard. I it's thought, part of it. I thought that there was like cracking the and butter. And then the butter. There's uh-huh. something about the, butter, about the too. butter too. It hits different. But, but oh. sweet. Anyway, uh, this is you know, hopefully we spirited you away. <laughs> uh, 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 I got another one. Uh, I hope that ponyoed you. What? <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> you could say uh, this podcast was a real how. Ooh. I don't get where's that one from. I don't know. <laughs> What's that one from? <laughs> uh, There's cats a book return. right behind you. <laughs> no, Bob says in the way, so you can't see it. We're good. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so thank you for watching this one. Uh, we'll see you when the wind rises. That was stretching too far. Hey. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now we're uh, now we're now we're under the stupid no, stretch. No, we'll see you when, to, uh, when the cat returns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damn it, all the good ones are gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it. Anyway, so thanks for, <laughs> for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Look us up if you want to support us. We have a sticker shop, Reaper yep. in the area. It's on Etsy. You can probably just look up Reaper in the area. Our official sponsor of this podcast. It'll be under <laughs> our, our Instagrams. <laughs> no, we're not even being paid for it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> our Instagrams are all in the bottom. Is it a sponsor if it's your own money? 
Yes. One day, if I'm not lazy, <laughs> we'll all have our own Instagrams in front of us. Oh. I started to figure out how to do it, so we're oh, almost nice. there. <laughs> nice, nice. So, anyway, catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>